pre-CRM tutorial how to use HubSpot. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use CRM software easily and for free. HubSpot provides us the opportunity to do this, so basically let's get started. Firstly we need to visit the HubSpot.com and then just click on get started free. So let's continue. I'll create an account from scratch to show you the like you know the opportunity how you can do it by your own here you can enter your first name and last name and then just email address or continue with google as i do because i have my own google account so let's create confirm all the settings and after that i uh, will go to this page where we need to choose the industry we are working in so let it be like uh, sports basically it doesn't matter and after that just click on next so you need to choose a suitable you know what is our job role let it be like ceo yeah click on next and what is your company's name here we can interpret everything we need so let it be like in the name of our channel let's click on continue and how many people work at your company? Choose the suitable number. I will just only choose two to five. What is your company's website? Basically, I don't have a website, so I'll just use like youtube.com. So here we need to choose like, where would you like your data to be honest? Like based on your location, we recommend EU. So you can choose the suitable location as for you. Let it be like EU, so yeah. Europe preparing our account and after that we'll go to our basically home page as it is maybe a few questions which of these sounds most like you I've never used CRM before let it be like this what would you like to do with HubSpot first track your deals in one place yeah get started so now probably we'll go to our home page and let us continue to work as you can see we need to add the like pipeline here let it be the name with pipeline let it be like this stage names let's choose the like basic closing stage names yes next and uh, we can also add a deal so let's add a deal like t-shirt sell and the amount let it be like ten dollars maybe choose a deal stage deal stage yeah so now we'll create our pipeline here and basically now we are on our home page here in the top of the screen we can see the menu with like contacts area contacts campaigns calls we can add them right up here also conversations inbox chat flows snippets or templates markets with ads email landing page websites also they have like social and seo but it's only for like upgraded version they have like campaigns here also sales with deals which is pretty important you need to know that deals are in a sales folder forecast which is for paid tasks document meetings payments and playbooks also there is like services with tickets Automations are only for paid versions and of course reports in the right side We can find also like a different icon. So here we can add our marketplace really like app marketplace set marketplace or solution uh, like uh, you know Directory so here we need to add our marketplace if we'll click on it right up here We can choose uh, like a lot of different apps here Gmail Google Calendar like something like this free apps so on you need to find it right up here let's try to find like uh something like shopify yeah we have like shopify here so we can connect it easily as you can see so let's try to create some deals we need to go to sales here and then just click on deals so after that we'll go on this page as you can see there is like our pipeline here we also already have like one deal here uh, what can we do in the right side we can create a deal so if we we'll click we need to input the necessary information like the deal name pipeline deal stage amount close date the deal owner of course deal type priority and so on and after that we can just simply click on 
uh, create right up here, create and add another also. So this is how can we create a deal. We can also import it as you can see. Uh, we can import it from like spreadsheets or some other stuff. You will click. We can find the opportunities like where can we like import or sync. So also like there is some actions here. Add another pipeline. Restore records. Add pipeline automation. So this is a way of how can we deal with like our deals here. Of course we can simply click on any single deal and find the information as you can see in the right side. Like close date, amount the stage, deal owner, deal type, and so on. We can also add like contacts here, companies, tickets, and attachment, as you can see, line items, and quotes. Yeah. Uh, also, we can like search for some filters. We can like sort it, click on filters here, and add some filters. You can like uh, simply filter with deal owner, like create date, with last, last activity and with like close date. Basically, sometimes it could be really helpful. So on the other page, uh, on, on the contacts here, we can go to contacts and here we can find some, uh, you know, of, of our customers. In order to add them, we need to click on create contact in the right top corner. Click on create and we'll go to this page. So here we can add the email, first name, last name, and so on. After that, when we we'll click on create, they will be placed in this like spreadsheet. And here there will be all the information. We can simply click on any single contact and find, you know, all the information about our interactions here. So also we can find like his phone number, contact owner and so on. So this is pretty like important. What can we do here? So now we can also like import from our spreadsheet or some other stuff and do some actions so we can like manage duplicates fix formatting issues restore records or edit properties so some of them are only for paid versions as you can see they are logged for us now we can also edit the columns of the spreadsheet so we'll just click on edit columns here and we are able to like change the order or just add something we can remove all columns we can just add something here so as you can see uh, it's pretty like easy to customize it for yourself um, on the like companies uh, names we can also add the companies this uh, the navigation is quite the same so if you need to add we need to click on create company then just input all the suitable data which is like provided and then uh, they will appear right up here the same way we can just uh, like you know filter them sometimes it could be helpful we can like uh, measure between all companies and my companies here sometimes it could be also like really important and uh, basically we can do some actions edit properties we can import like companies and so on uh, what is uh, like interesting that we can like uh, find the conversation inbox here in the conversations area We can find like all the emails like manage and respond to emails from your inbox from here Also, we can like chat connect live chat to engage with your website visitors in real time We can also create boots for qualified leads schedule meetings and so on We can also use the forms and Facebook messenger uh, what about basically about their plans? They have a lot of different paid plans, but you, I think that you can like, you know, uh, find out by yourself. You can use it for free and after that decide do you want to use it like paid versions? Yeah. 